Good morning, guys and gals. I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Pikmin 4. When we last left off, I platinumed the Sage Trials for no reason, really. <laughs> I mean, really, it amounted to nothing. I had a theory. I had a theory, and it didn't quite work out. And today, I'm I'm kind of going to act like this is the last... Well, it probably isn't the last day, to be fair. It's probably just the last session. I, I can't imagine that I'm going to complete an area blind when I've only, only spent one day in it. We have caves to explore. We have people to talk to. I won't make a ton of fanfare around today. Except for the fact that I missed a couple of entries in the Piclopedia. Uh, I, I read part of them and not the rest. But I also haven't... <laughs> I haven't gone to refresh myself in the comments, so I don't remember which one I I haven't talked about. I didn't scroll down on, so let's do that, I guess. So I misclicked and accidentally went in to say hi to the Mamuda. And if you walk up really close... I I don't know if Future Pal can increase the volume enough so you can hear that, but it's, it's purring. Neat, but also not why I'm here. A type of ambulofungus. The current working theory is that the puff stool evolved from a more common species of fungus that gained animal-like characteristics over time, including the ability to walk. When it senses danger, it will scatter sp uh, spores from under its cap, releasing a hallucinogen that confuses its attackers. The hallucinogenic compound in the spores is only effective against this species' natural enemies, the Pikmin, causing them to mistake it for their leader. Pikmin who fall into this trap are then used as workers to maintain nutrition or defenses for the puff stool. Okay, I, I was a little bit worried that they were going to completely retcon the the idea of of Puffman, but no, it's still within the realm of possibility. A future Pikmin game could possibly, possibly bring that idea back. As far as I can tell, Moss has been a leafling pup since birth, and some of her DNA resembles that of the Pikmin. This is the one point in which she differs from Ochi. When Ochi transformed from a standard space dog into a leafling pup, I started to theorize that the Pikmin are, in some capacity, propagating their DNA in other organisms. The phenomenon in which all those castaways, including myself, became leaflings was very likely caused by being absorbed into the onion. Perhaps that process was also some sort of Pikminification of the body. Pikminif Pikminified organisms can't leave this planet, so the Pikmin may have been motivated to carry out this process in, is in an effort to secure a permanent leader. Of course, this is all just a theory. How can you possibly pull yourself away from these charming creatures? Come see me when you're ready to take another look. Now you can see the total amount and locations of the treasure. I've been avoiding this one like the plague this so far. Just, I, I don't know. It doesn't sit well with me to be able to easily locate what the game is intending to make hidden. But we're in the final area. I could use all the help I could get. Okay. The last time we were here, it was two recording sessions ago. I hope that my memory isn't so foggy as to sabotage me here, but... We also, thankfully, have an advantage to make up for it. We have a white and purple onion and can take 100 Pikmin out into the field. So what I think I'll do is take 20 purples, all of my whites, and then I think 30, 30 pink Pikmin. 30 pinks. The reason being is I'm going to be growing some new Pikmin, yo. And it's going to be glorious. I don't need to scout things out with my survey drone. Boom. I really need white Pikmin here. That, that's my goal. I'm not trying to raise my purples. Also, it's so great that the pellet posies stick to the same color now. Like, once you aggro onto them, it's it's awesome. Uh, Ochi, just go ahead and stay there and then pluck the Pikmin. Oh, actually, no, Ochi. Lag? Hello? Uh, go over there. Yeah. Uh, and then... I think we can take a right-hand turn here. Ochi, are you... You're not, so please start. I don't know what that is, but I will pay close attention to my, uh, my little... My little notification screen on the, the right-hand side. We have one of these. Uh, big difference between... Between the last time we encountered this and this is that we've killed multiple. We've killed multiple by this point. So this won't be terribly difficult. Outside of the mushrooms, which we didn't have to deal with. Okay, so we'll 
we'll deal with these. Thankfully, it doesn't... Oh, never mind, never mind. That's... That's really bad. That's really bad. Get... Get back here, guys. Get back here. Get back here. Okay, I, did, I didn't expect the Mittites. That was... Not... Good. I guess also we don't have the, uh... We don't have the Swarm Whistle. Really? I'm... Guys. 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 What are you doing? I clearly swarmed the legs. You should be smarter than this. I, I want to see what they do. I noticed this in editing. Yeah, they, they go up on their own. They, they aggro up properly. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Cool thing. In previous ge Pikmin games... I guess mainly just... Just two. Uh, us losing white Pikmin would be a really bad thing. It was like... They were rare, but uh, upon their death, they would, you know, they would kill whatever ate them, or at least damage them severely. But you still felt bad, because they're so hard to get. There's so much turmoil, blood, sweat, and tears required to actually, to actually get white Pikmin. But now, we have an onion. So, I don't really care. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna send him right back to, to base, and be completely happy with life. This is awesome. Okay, Ochi, what are you doing? I don't actually know what you did. Oh, they're that. Okay, why didn't you go back? Hello? We'll get these. Boom, boom. So we have some more plastic. Always good to get. We'll have more, some more white Pikmin. Looks like they were mid-tights while I was gone, but that doesn't really matter. They don't They don't actually hurt anything. They're just annoying. Uh, we, have a, we have a new cave, and that cave is the Louie. The sub- oh, I'm <laughs> the subterranean swarm. I love how sticky it is down here. Plus, I had snacks walking over to me nonstop. Two of them were really big. Okay. Uh, and it recommends I take nothing? Question mark? Oh, there we go. You, you can tell it's been a while. It's It's been a while since I've I've actually encountered, you know, normal Pikmin 4 gameplay. They recommend I take rocks and and flying Pikmin. I'm not going to do that quite yet. I think what I'm going to do is exhaust... Actually, I guess I, I can do this. I was going to say, I'm going to exhaust my resources out in the field, and then, once that's done, I'll go into the cave. Please kill him. Nice. Okay. And then... Swarm this guy. Die, please. Sweet. Uh, it's... These little patches are really weird, because they could really have anything in them. Mittites. They could have a boss. They could have a cave, although it's pretty obvious that it would be a cave. Uh, so we'll, we'll kind of just let them chill. If it's a mittite, I mean, tough luck, I guess. Ooh, perfect, perfect. That's what I want to see. The ability to move my base. That's going to be very useful. Whoa! Whoa! I probably should have expected that. That was pretty... Pretty obvious in retrospect. Okay, all right. Uh, let's zoom the camera out as much as I can. That's one thing I actually have a, a little bit of a problem with in this game is, unfortunately, you know, I'm gonna do this the normal way. Ah. Unfortunately, you can't quite get the camera angles that you you used to be able to in, in Pikmin 2. Um, like, there's, there's just an angle that's not possible anymore, and it's the angle I preferred when playing Pikmin 2, and either it's too close and at the uh, the angle I want, or it's really far away and straight up and down, which is, isn't the angle I want. I'm sure that they playtested it and they're like, no, this this overall is better, but as, as a Pikmin vet, this is just a tiny, tiny bit too close. Okay, let's deal with that with the purples. We have a bunch of whites now. Looks like that wasn't really much of anything, although it could be something buried. I can check my map. Not something buried. I don't know what's happening there. They're probably carrying something back and they turned around. Uh, yeah, we'll take care of this. And then what is over here? I'm I'm really having trouble remembering everything that, that we encountered. Like, this tube, I don't know where this leads. Uh, there was a weird, like, gated off section that Ochi found himself in. There's a leafling over there and another tube. So, like, there's there's a lot happening here. Uh, you know, maybe we go into the... I think I'm gonna go into the Dandori cave first. 
It's right here. Hello. Hey, there's another one. Today you eat endori. Tomorrow we eat endori more. That's all I have to say. Ali <coughs> Uh all right, newbie. Time to show off your dandori skills to that leafling. I'm down. Uh first. I want to see where, the, where this leads. Where does this go? I'm trying to connect the dots here. Alright, we're here. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought I cleared that out. Um, I, I remember seeing this. But apparently I never I never connected the dots on this one. Okay, so that's, that's a shortcut to that. Not terribly important, but, you know, a little bit. There's some pearly clam clamps over there, it looks like. And some... Oh, no, that's... that's a, It's a peach with a mushroom in front of it. I thought it was a pearly clam clamp and a, and a pearl. Let's go inside this. Why not? Toggle training. A seven-minuter. I can't tell the Dendori level yet, but I'm guessing it's nothing short of four. No need for introductions, I see. Who you are through Dendori. Show me your Dendori. Brother, I beat your sage, and it wasn't that difficult. Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? We can flip this. Uh, let's go over to switches first. Because I feel like that's gonna... That's gonna behoove me. Uh, white Pikmin. Die. Got an ocarina. We got a bell. Uh, Ochi, you deal with the mushrooms, because you get them in one bite. Uh, yes. You carry that. Uh, Ochi, you grab the ocarina. You guys. I really had the wrong Pikmin flower there. I really wish that the whites had. Uh, we're gonna throw ten on this. I think five trips is, is gonna be good. Because they're gonna end up having to go... I guess not really the long way. There we go. That, that saves some time. We need to be careful of that. That's very important. Uh, I'm not gonna have them work on that yet. Uh, Ochi can... You grab this. I'm trying to get what I can get without needing to flip the gates. That way I can pay more attention to the gates flipping. Um, let's, let's crack these. Hope that there's a spray inside. Really? Okay. Pikmin are gonna Pikmin, I guess. Okay, so we're gonna get that done. Um, get our Pikmin back. I don't really want to split up Ochi, although it might be best to... I think, I think I'll split them up after this, and then... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that, because somebody needs to be near the switch. So actually, Ochi... Yeah, go dig this up, and then you'll be near the switch. That makes sense, and I didn't want to forget about that. Do I need to get the enemies? I think I do. And I'm an idlers. Whoa! Move. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, he can break them, but that's very slow. They can break them quick, and I don't need to worry about them meeting the same fate as the white Pikmin there. And then... Let's just go kill him. Kill him quick! Nice! That's exactly what I wanted. Do that, do that. Uh, Ochi, dig, please. I'll need to... That's gonna be weird. Okay. Uh, tackle this. Tackle this. And then, Ochi... You're close enough. I don't really feel bad about doing, doing it this way. Jump on this, and then... Uh, actually, I'm just gonna throw them willy-nilly here. Because they'll handle that on their own. Uh, yeah, five. Five. You can deal with that. I'm gonna need to deal with that as well. I'm saying a lot of this is and that's, and I know that Pikmin probably isn't the best series to watch tabbed out. I'm I'm aware of that. It's 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 kind of hard to fix that one because Pikmin require is a series that requires concentration. Uh, jump, flip the switch again. You guys can carry the scutter chucks back, and then okay, we need the entire squad for this one. So it is it is time to reunite them. And as soon as the scutter trucks are through there, then I'm gonna hit the button. 
because that's going to shorten shorten the path uh, for the, the big gold pile over there. Okay. Kill. Jump off. Ochi, please murder. Deal with all of these. Cool. Nice. And then we have... Uh, idlers. I do have five rocks to make these worth it. Uh, Ochi, pluck them, please. I said Ochi, pluck them. You guys go on that. I should be getting the idle Pikmin here very shortly. Uh, Ochi, you're needed. Here. I'll grab the whistle. Have the Pikmin. Get the other whistle. I think I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I might... I might not gold, or I might not get a, a fantastic time, but I think I can get this done. And I really need to hit the other button. Uh, how much does that harmonica weigh? Oh, one more than I have. Uh, you know what? Make this happen. And then Jeff. I need all of the switches hit. Every single switch. Uh, Jeff really isn't needed. So he's gonna stay here. I'm gonna switch, cancel, and I need to hit this switch desperately, like yesterday. I'm not even sure if it was- I don't remember if it was the incorrect decision for me to have, uh, hit the switch in the first place, but it might be. It might have been. Uh, I, I made it for- because of that gold pile. Okay. Let's idlers. And honestly, just keep mashing the idlers alarm. Just- yeah, just keep mashing it. They're, they'll find their way. Uh, Ochi, what are you doing? What? Can you do anything? Or are you basically done? You know what? Go over to the Switch, because at some point I'll probably need to hit the Switch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick that up, pick that up, pick it up. Get the gold pile. Yeah, so we'll... We'll take care of this gold pile. And then... Go back to base. Ochi, hit the Switch, please. Switch it back. And then grab the rest of the gold pile. Oh, I didn't need the Pikmin for that. Uh, we're not missing anything? We got it? Done and done. Done and dusted. Platinum? Wait, what are we missing? Hold on. Oh, the enemy! The enemy! It was before I thought about- <laughs> It was before I thought about, uh, getting the enemies. Okay, uh, and then... Where is the button? On the other side of the planet. Okay, okay. Ochi, spit out this. Boom. And we're gonna use white Pikmin for this. It's gonna be faster than Ochi. Go! And like, keep going. Keep going. A minute remaining. One mistake. I would- I would classify this as the only mistake I made. Yeah, platinum. Easy. Easy! <laughs> we just took the weighted training clothes off, man. <laughs> we just- we just went through the time chamber. We- <laughs> we arced out. Look at that. That was dead door level four, and it felt like... Zero. Sweet. Incredible, Dendor. It's shocking that you beat the record. Take these. I'm going to die now. <laughs> Looks like they passed out. Your incredible Dendori had them all flabbergasted. You know, there's a moment in, a, or a, a portion of Super Mario RPG, which I I feel comfortable spoiling, where there is a secret boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a secret boss that is substantially um, stronger than the final boss. And so you get to this point where you beat him, and you know that you're basically ready for the end of the game, and it will probably be a cakewalk. This is That's basically what just happened. Uh, what am I actually doing here? There, fine, whatever. Uh, yeah, you guys deal with that. Oh yeah, we have the we have the this. We have the what is this? That's kind of like our reward for doing this. And I I mustn't forget. In fact, I'm going to place a marker. I've I haven't used markers all game, but I'm going to use a marker here. In fact, where on earth am I? How? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Also. I completely missed that, apparently. Um, I briefly forgot the controls. I thought I was playing Breath of the Wild. Uh, Ochi, go, go over there. 
Go over there and... There are lots of things I missed. How'd that happen? Hopefully these guys can dig quickly. They're not yellow Pikmin. Um, apparently, I mean, yellow Pikmin can dig a lot better than other Pikmin, but apparently that ability got buffed even further. I don't really... I don't really see much of a value in that. I don't know. I Maybe... I, I just kind of undervalue that ability. Uh, leafling recovered. Good work. It does nothing. Why do we go through? Why do we go through this? That's a very valid question. We should have stopped after the third time. It's in Yanni's hands now. I don't get why we do that. Okay, there's an avocado I can't grab. Uh, go back. And then we'll we'll split this out. This is done. And it leads us where? Where are we? Oh, we're he Where are we? Man, this area is weird. Okay, well, we're gonna go back. We're gonna go back. And I'm realizing now that Ochi is kind of needed to get the Pikmin across, I think. Because they'll drown, right? Or... No, we can get through this easy. Oh, okay. I was scared for nothing. I apologize. Hey, Ochi. Cutie. Uh... Jump up here. Jump on Ochi. Climb up. And there's a pin! Cool. And a honey wisp to distract us from the pin. Alright, cool. Now we'll get the avocado, and then I think we just go into the cave. Where is the avocado? To the left. We can't get up there, but we can get the avocado. Uh, it shouldn't weigh more than 10. Not really much of anything does. They should be able to get that. I think? They, they're fine. Maybe. They have to get it all. I guess I guess they actually do have to get it all. A complete series. We're going to start seeing that a lot more. Uh, th <laughs> this being the final area, we're going to start seeing that an awful lot more. Good job, guys. Way to be mildly smart. Okay, and from experience, I should probably let them take that back. So, uh, lest they... Hmm. How do we want to do this? They're going to get back by the time Jeff gets there. So I guess we just wait. Yeah, the other episode when we we're in um when we we're in the Giant's Hearth and they can go through that too. They were in the Giant's Hearth and they uh we knocked a treasure down, went to a cave and then went out of the cave at at countdown and the treasure was back on the ledge. Yeah, I'm not I'm not leaving this up to chance anymore. I've learned from that. Okay, I can't reach him. It almost looked like I did for a second. I don't need to reach him. I can go in here. Uh, subterranean swarm. Let's go. Rocks and pinks. I don't entirely agree with that. Uh, we're going to... We're going to take 20 whites. Because I have that ability. <laughs>